welcome to Google Marketing Live 2023. I'm your host, Lori Siegel, and this is Google's Vice President, Global Product Lead, Jason Spiro, who's here to preview today's keynote announcements. Now, Jason, I have to say, I am very excited about what we're about to hear. Can you give us a little bit of a sense? Yeah, of course. Uh, it's great to be here. Um, 10 years. 10 years of doing GML uh, means a lot to me. And this is the second year that we've been back here at our Bayview campus, which has a little extra meaning for all of us. And I'll say full disclosure, not only is this my first GML, but this is actually my first time on campus here at Google. And it's crazy because I've covered technology for over a decade, and this is my first time here. It's beautiful. Well, welcome. We're happy to have you. Um, Bayview, where you're sitting right now, is the home to the Google Ads team. So the people who are building a lot of the products that we'll talk about in the keynotes today. And talking product, can you give us a sense of what we're going to hear? Yeah, of course. Um, first off, framing all of this. Our goal is to deliver better business results for marketers, for advertisers. We think about this across three areas. The first is customer connections. Second, creative. And third, the level of confidence that we can give marketers in decision making. And we'll bring that a lot out in the keynote as we talk. So very fair, without sharing too much, I want to talk about one of the things you, you spoke about, this idea of customer connections. What do you mean by that? Can you give us some specific examples? Yeah, of course. I think a lot of this starts with how we all shop and how we buy things and that customer journey that has gotten really complex as we research and think and consider in all of this and the valuable role that AI can help marketers as they try to engage with that. So many of the announcements today will be about, will be about helping advertisers uh, think about how to get their brand and their message to consumers at the right time. So talk to me a little bit more about the creative. Yeah, of course. Uh, overall, the goal is to quickly create high quality ads that reach and engage the right customers. Um, one of the solutions for that is using AI, particularly generative AI. And generative AI is a, is a new tool, but it's a powerful tool to make the jobs of the marketers a lot easier. It'll help them reach the consumers and help them do that a lot more efficiently. You talk about generative AI. There's been so much talk about how these tools can be used. I think it's going to be really interesting to hear how Google's thinking about how AI can help marketers. One of the things you mentioned was this idea of confidence. Now, mm. obviously, data and insights are incredibly valuable to marketers. So what more can we expect to hear there? Well, I think it's important to say that data matters at the top and to say that marketers need insights uh, about consumers um, and consumers at the same time have increased expectations of how responsible everyone's being, what, what brands do with their data from a privacy perspective. And all of this happens at a time where Chrome is deprecating third-party cookies, which makes a lot of this sort of, uh, we need new techniques. Um, a lot of what we'll talk about here is how marketers can have confidence that they're making the right decisions, but do all of that in a privacy safe way. I know, obviously, privacy is something that everybody is thinking about, so I'm really excited to hear the team dig in on this. Jason, thank you so much for the preview, and right after the keynote, stay tuned for Google Marketing Live keynote post show. We'll be talking about all of the biggest announcements that you're going to hear today with the people that are actually building those products. So I'll have them back here. And I also want to say, Lori, that'll be my first ever <laughs> post show. So I'm looking forward to that. I love it. Same. And, and not only that, we're also going to introduce you to Google's new VP and GM of Commerce, Maria Renz. Everyone is so excited to have her here with us today. We'll be talking with her about Google's role in commerce. Now, this is from both a consumer and merchant perspective. And Jason, one other thing I have to say is I am really excited for the post show. This is a real opportunity for us to actually dig deeper into what we heard about. And we want your input. Yeah, so please do give us your input. About halfway through the keynote, we're going to open up a live poll, and that'll be your opportunity. That's your opportunity to tell us what you want us to talk about back here with those product leaders that we mentioned. Um, and we'll organize the entire post show around your votes. I mean, it makes total sense that, of course, it's organized around data. This is Google. We are data driven here. So we will look forward to seeing those results. And I'll say there's also more content to explore after the keynote. I'm talking about the TLDR video series. These are quick videos with tips about how to get the most out of the latest products. Now, you can find those videos and participate in the live poll by visiting googlemarketinglive.com. And as always, we want to hear your thoughts. And in particular, please do share your thoughts using the hashtag GML2023. And Lori, it's almost time to jump to the keynote 
where Google senior vice president and chief business officer and, and my boss, Philip Schindler, is going to kick things off. I'm really excited. And it really is nice, Jason, to be able to actually be here and be with everyone in person. Something very special about that. And to all the folks watching, we hope to see you right back here immediately after the keynote for the post show. So don't go anywhere. But for now, enjoy the keynote. Please welcome Chief Business Officer, Philip Schindler. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you. Whether you're here with us in person or joining virtually, I'm thrilled to welcome you to Google Marketing Live 2023, yes. <laughs> and not just any GML, today marks its 10th anniversary, yes. <laughs> we love this event so much, I mean so much. It's such a great chance for us to connect with you and for you to discover our newest products and meet directly with the amazing people who make them. We're happy to host it here at our Bayview campus, where our ads products are actually built. It doesn't just look futuristic, it is. At 1.1 million square feet, it's all electric, water positive, with the largest geothermal installation in North America. You're sitting right on it. It has first of its kind dragon scale solar skin and nearby wind farms powered on carbon free energy 90% of the time. So, to get everyone in the right mood for GML, I asked Bart, our Gen AI conversation experiment, to write a joke for a room full of performance marketers. <laughs> Do you want to hear what it came up with? <laughs> you want to hear it, I can tell. I can tell in the room. What's the difference between a performance marketer and an optimist? <laughs> an optimist thinks tomorrow will be better. A performance marketer knows it will be better because they have tested it. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad, Bard. Not bad, Bard. But jokes aside, we believe AI is one of the most profound technologies humanity is working on today. It's a huge shift on the scale of technological revolutions like the internet or mobile. And there's lots of enthusiasm, but also, correctly so, lots of questions about what that means for you and your businesses. But we have been ready for this shift, and we're here for you. Because remember, when the internet brought the world online, we were there to connect people with each other, with the information they needed, and with brands and businesses around the world. And when the world moved to mobile, we made it possible to reach people in their I want to go, I want to do, I want to buy moments, which brings us to the AI revolution. We're ready for it. Seven years ago, we announced that Google would be an AI-first company. And this research led to so many features we now take for granted, like Smart Compose and Gmail or eco-friendly routes and maps and uh, Google Lens and Search. And today, we have an opportunity to make this technology even more helpful for people, for businesses, for communities, for everyone. A couple of weeks ago at I.O., we showed you how we are reimagining all our core products with generative AI. We see the massive opportunities ahead for how to develop and deploy this technology. So let me share just a few examples here. I'm sure you're all avid Google Maps users. Google AI can now deepen your understanding of the world with features like immersive view for routes and maps. It's, it's like anything you've ever experienced before. It gives you a bird's eye view of your entire journey before your trip, whether it's on foot 
or bike or car. I mean, I love it. It gives you like this feeling of traveling like a superhero. And, and for all of you photographers out there, uh, if you think Magic Eraser is cool, just wait until you actually try Magic Editor. And of course, we're bringing this powerful technology to bear to supercharge search. With breakthroughs in generative AI, we can unlock entirely new types of questions you never thought search could actually answer and transform the way information is organized to help you sort through and make sense of what's out there. You'll be able to first try these generative AI capabilities in search labs, a new way to access early experiments in search. And in this new generative experience, search ads will continue to appear in dedicated ad slots throughout the page, and you will hear more about it later today. And if you're wondering what Google AI can do for your business, Google Cloud has launched powerful foundation models that your business can use now to create amazing content, to synthesize and organize information, to automate business processes, and to build engaging customer experiences. For example, these models can turn your text into studio-grade images or into code, and can even turn speech into text so you can engage with customers in their native language. This is very cool tech that can transform many parts of your business, including marketing operations. We're launching lots of exciting products. You'll hear about many of them today. And you will see us being bold, but also incredibly responsible. We have 15 products, 15 products that each serve more than half a billion people and businesses, and six that serve more than two billion people. So when we launch something in the world, it has a big impact. And that's why we have to get this right, because it's so important for our users, including businesses like yours, who count on us. But even as we work through how to make the most of this technology, multiple macro challenges, from inflation pressure to supply chain constraints or forcing tougher P&L decisions for every business and decision maker out there. And shifting consumer behaviors and expectations are making it harder to spend your next dollar with confidence. Marketers today need to embrace seemingly contradictory behaviors from micro to macro that are all happening at the same time. You could call it the era of everything, everywhere, all at once. <laughs> First, consumer journeys are now moving targets. Purchase decisions online are more complex, dynamic, and nuanced than ever. On one hand, consumers are turning into real, let's call them product detectives. We observe this research obsession as people explore and evaluate the options more than ever before. Three quarters of consumers say it's important to access even more sources about a product or service before making a purchase. More than half of consumers are using five or more online sources before they buy, like search, watching an online video, going to maps, and so on. This is at an all-time high, even, even compared to the heights of COVID. And we're seeing searches that are more refined and more specific. Consumers aren't just looking for apparel. They're searching for matching pajamas for couples or best formal wear for a rainy day. Year-on-year -year searches for pans for cooking fish have grown globally by over 400%. Well, oh, you, <laughs> you get the point. So on the other hand, the opposite is happening. Impulse shopping has also grown significantly year over year since 2019, with over a quarter of consumers saying they've purchased on impulse in a two-day period. For marketers, this means that getting the right message in front of the right consumer at the right time is a constantly moving target. Second, video viewing has exploded. Short, long, everything in between, here too, we're seeing seemingly contradictory behaviors emerge. Today, everyone has a product studio in the palm of their hand. It's fundamentally changing the world of creation. We all know this. But because of this, shorts have exploded. YouTube Shorts averages over 50 billion daily view, views. And meanwhile, viewers are also watching more content on the big screen than ever before. Where there's creator-produced content, music live streams, shows or sports, people are also loving long-form content on the TV screen. We also see this play out on YouTube, 
which is reaching more than 150 million people on connected TV screens in the US, making us the number one most watched streaming platform in the US. And the living room is our fastest growing platform around the world. But these two contradictory behaviors actually reflect the same trend, an explosion of video viewing choices. Creators and viewers want everything from 15 second shorts to 15 hour live streams. They also want infinite content that helps them dive deeper into what they're truly passionate about. We know hit shows and trending shows grab the headlines, but did you know that more than 50% of Gen Z say they watch content that no one else they know is interested in? And as we say, prime time has become personal. For marketers, video is obviously a tremendous opportunity. If only there was a platform that could offer all formats on all screens. Oh wait, there is one. We call it YouTube. <laughs> Trend number three. We're seeing the highest bar yet for privacy and for ads relevance. 80% of people are worried about their online privacy. They want to know what personal data brands are collecting and how they're using it. And regulators around the world are demanding a level of privacy on the internet beyond anything we've ever seen. In fact, some measures being proposed would break the digital advertising model. Now the fact is, while users want more privacy and control over their data, they also prefer relevant, helpful ads. And millions of creators, publishers, and business like yours rely on them. Like Lauren Ellen and Liz Haslam from the food publisher Tastes Better From Scratch. Lauren and Liz, I, I could not have said it better myself. They remind us that when you see ads online, it's a win for you because the content you're viewing is free. It's a win for small businesses who make money and can continue providing the content for free. And it's a win for advertisers who can serve you things you're actually interested in. So we have to deliver both. The privacy users and regulators expect and the performance you and everyone who depends on the ads-based internet need. We're proud of our leading track record of privacy practices, technical innovation, and industry collaboration. The Privacy Sandbox is an example of our work with industry partners on privacy-safe alternatives to third-party cookies that preserve the performance so many businesses and publishers depend on. So you might be taking in these shifts our industry is facing and thinking, wow, it's a tough time to be a marketer, but I think it's actually the best of times. And that's because AI is going to supercharge. It's going to supercharge your ability to keep up with the speed, demands, and unpredictability of consumers like never before. And we're here to put AI to work for your business. The same technology that powers our consumer products has helped power the ad solutions that help you run your business. And today, nearly 80% of advertisers already use at least one AI-powered search ads product. Back in 2015, you started using AI to promote your app through our app campaigns. And since then, you've continued to use our AI-powered solutions across bidding, shopping campaigns, keywords, analytics, and so much more. You'll hear more today about how we are putting Google AI to work to help you keep pace with the moving target of today's consumer journeys, from AI-native search ads to the latest Pmax innovations. You will see more today about how it's helping you capture the explosion in video consumption. And with the bar for privacy and relevancy higher than ever, you will learn more today about how Google AI is improving your ability to reach audiences and measure your performance in a privacy-safe way. Over the next few hours, we have so much more to share with you about how we can help you drive next-level demand and growth. 250 product experts are here to answer your questions and take your feedback. We're hosting more than 100 roundtables, and we have more than 20 new ads product launches. More than 20, yes. I meet with lots of clients, and their number one question is, what is the next best step I should take? We're going to make this super easy for you. Later this morning, my colleague Vidya will walk you through the AI Essentials Checklist. 
It's not a lengthy, painful process, trust me. <laughs> it's simple steps you could take to unlock the power of AI for your business. It's accessible, tangible, and scalable work you can implement in your marketing plans right now. Like literally as soon as you're back from GML or maybe even live from GML if you're good at multitasking. <laughs> so settle in and get ready for more from our Google leaders about what we're doing to equip your business for this next evolution of marketing. You will see what we mean when we say that Google has been ready for this moment. And we're with you every step of the way. Because when technology changes the world, who you partner with is everything. Thank you so much for joining us today and enjoy the show. Thank you. Please welcome Vice President and General Manager, Google Ads, Jerry Dishler. Hi everyone, I'm so happy that you're all here with us today. This is the 10th anniversary of Google Marketing Live. When we started the event back in 2013, we were in the middle of the shift to mobile. And as Philip just said, here in 2023, we're in the middle of another big shift, the shift to AI. And as exciting as all of this is, we know the pressures that all of you and your businesses are facing. You're expected to deliver results today while building a plan to drive sustainable long-term growth. Your businesses want a healthy return on their capital while examining their expenditures more closely than ever. And you're being asked to wrap your arms around what the AI shift could mean for all of your organizations. At Google, we want to be your trusted partner to help you navigate all of this. It's a role we're deeply committed to because it's clear that AI is gonna transform our industry in profound ways. In fact, this transformation is already happening in many areas. AI is helping us make decisions, solve problems, and be more productive and creative. It's helping to identify patterns and trends, ultimately unlocking new pockets of demand and opportunity. One of the superpowers of AI is its ability to organize and structure data from disparate sources. Imagine you could optimize every incremental dollar with an agile budget across sales and marketing and operations to be sure you're driving the highest ROI. AI can help you do exactly that. Apply this thinking across your marketing channels and you can always see where your next dollar should go to best achieve your goals. A great example of this is Wyndham Hotels and Resorts. Working in close partnership, their CMO and their CFO use agile budgeting to respond to the changing needs of their franchisees and fluctuating demands in real time. Thanks to this, Despite pressure from the pandemic, 2021 was the most successful year their franchisees ever had, and the results were even better in 2022. This is, of course, only one example of how AI is helping businesses grow, and there are thousands of others. AI has been foundational to Google Ads for years. Products that you, you all have helped us build and improve like smart bidding and broad match and app campaigns, and most recently Performance Max, all have AI at their core. At Google, we're committed to driving a future ads experience that's not only AI powered, but also privacy first. And today, we'll share how we plan to do exactly that. We see Google AI multiplying your business results across three different areas, your customer connections, your creative, and your level of confidence. I I'm gonna cover all three of these in detail. First, customer connections. We're gonna share how you can use AI to uncover new pockets of demand by marketing at the speed of consumers, no matter how unpredictable. Then creative, we're gonna show how you can create high quality ads that work for every customer in an instant with some help from AI and of course, confidence. We're all under pressure to make quick decisions as technology evolves. People and regulators have higher expectations than ever for privacy. AI-powered insights and measurement give you confidence that you're spending every dollar effectively. That's your business, that's your performance, and ultimately, that's your marketing, powered by Google AI. 
I've heard this period of time described as uncomfortably exciting. If you're leaning towards more uncomfortable than excited, I, I certainly hope that that changes by the end of the day today. We've been talking about the importance of getting closer to our customers ever since our first Google Marketing Live a decade ago. The customer journeys that we're seeing are incredibly complex nowadays. Across surveyed markets, 61% of holiday shoppers use five or more channels to shop over a two-day period. Consumers are more important and more value conscious than ever. They're savvy, they move fast, and they have a better understanding of their options than ever before. Their paths to purchase are winding and difficult to predict. To be present at those key moments, all of our, on all of those paths to purchase, campaigns can be set up from the start to be truly AI powered. We've heard from all of you that you want to understand how your channels can work together. By figuring out your cross-channel mix, you can turn your marketing into a profit center, optimizing across the board, not in silos. One of the best examples of cross-channel marketing powered by AI is performance max campaigns. You set your goal, you set your budget, and provide some core assets, and performance max works across all of our advertising surfaces to deliver the highest performing media campaign for you all while generating cross-channel insights that you couldn't get otherwise to discover new things about your customers and your business. These agile campaigns enable your budgets to follow demand and growth wherever they are across channels and inventory that will deliver the most value to you. While this may be a change from the channel-specific approaches that some marketing teams use, it's worth it based on the results. The AI that powers these campaigns has been working really well, and it keeps getting better. So when Performance Max came out a couple of years ago, you were seeing 13% more conversions at a similar cost per action. Now, advertisers using Performance Max are seeing an 18% uplift on average. Performance Max complements your search campaigns to drive incremental performance across all of Google's ad inventory. You've told us that creating campaigns can sometimes feel overwhelming, particularly for those who are new to Google Ads. We've been working on a new solution, powered by a large language model tuned specifically from ads data to make campaign construction easier than ever for search ads, our new conversational experience in Google Ads. You can have a natural language conversation with Google Ads to help you create keywords and assets that drive better performance. I'm gonna invite Sylvanus up on stage to tell you all about it. Hi everyone, my name is Sylvanus, and I'm one of the product leaders on the Search Ads team. I'd love to give you a tour of the new conversational experience in Google Ads that you can use when creating new campaigns. It's our way of enabling you to talk directly with Google during the campaign construction process, giving you a helping hand as you make decisions about your campaign. Let's see what this looks like in action. Starting with keywords and ad creation, you're presented with a new assistive experience. With just a URL, the AI will generate a quick description of your business, product, or service. You can review and edit the description if you want to add more detail, but this one looks good to me, so we can move ahead. The experience then generates elements for your campaign, starting with keywords. Next, you can see ad headlines and descriptions even other assets like site links and callouts for your review. Let's review these images. Now, these are recommended images from your site along with stock images that match what you offer. Just select the ones you like and add them. And now you can start having a conversation. Here, it's asking you for more info to improve your ad. You can see it's asking for specifics, so let's add those in. And now you have more customized assets, and your headlines are under the character limits, which I know can be a tricky thing to do. Now, as you go along, your ad strength can keep getting better. And if there's a benefit you think is missing, you can ask for more options yourself. This is your expertise combined with Google AI to help you create a better campaign. And we'll start testing this in July. Now that the conversational ex experience has help you create an awesome set of new assets for your campaign, we thought your ads themselves could do even more. 
So later this year, we're planning to bring generative AI to automatically created assets. In addition to drawing on text from your landing page and other ads in your account, generative AI will make these assets even more relevant to customer queries while staying true to your offering. For example, if a consumer searches about dry, sensitive skin, your ad will be able to show an AI-generated headlines to help you better match the customer's query. You can see how these new ones align more closely with the search. We can't wait to see how these updates help all of you drive better results in your search campaigns. Thank you very much. Thanks, Sylvanus. That's pretty incredible, right? All right. There we go. Connecting with the right customers at the right time is not the only challenge that all of you were up against. You also have to be there with the exact right message and the right creative. And then you add in all the format options, short form video, long form video, shopping ads, display ads, and more. There are seemingly infinite opportunities to reach and convert your customers. And creative, of course, is a critical driver of ROI. Across all those opportunities, getting high quality, relevant, creative assets can be time consuming and expensive. And getting relevant, creative assets is a real challenge, particularly for B2B advertisers. We're building AI powered solutions for every step of your creative process. You'll be able to get help with your first draft of any concept so you're never staring at a blank page alone again. And you'll be able to generate new versions, scaling your successful concepts with only a couple of clicks. The idea is for you to be able to show off your creativity in as many places as possible with assets that are primed to resonate with your audience, all in a brand safe way. Google has been invested for years to help you succeed in AI-powered asset creation. Today, more than 25% of all YouTube video advertisers have an automatically generated video asset in their campaigns. We think that that percentage is going to go up rapidly across text, images, and video. A powerful example is taking your existing assets to create video ads in multiple orientations, including vertical ads for YouTube search. So shorts. <laughs> your, your images and your text, your product feed, or app store listings all brought together in a video ad. Based on internal data, advertisers that included at least one video of each orientation to their Performance Max campaigns delivered 20% more conversions in YouTube compared to horizontal videos alone. Our vision of your creativity brought to life via Google AI is becoming even more of a reality. With the revamped asset creation flow in Performance Max, you can create and curate best-in-class assets easier than ever. To get started, you simply enter your website. From there, your Google AI starts learning about your brand, pulling details such as your product descriptions and your logo. It also uses these to better understand your brand's unique qualities. As a result, your campaign is populated with your text and other assets relevant to your brand. We'll even suggest new images generated just for you. Then you can direct AI to create more images based on your creative vision. Throughout this flow, you'll be able to refine assets, remove the ones you don't like, and preview your ads. You're in full control of your brand story, and Google AI helps to bring it to life. We think that this image generation capability will help you multiply your creativity, so we're super excited to bring it to more solutions, including the conversational experience in Google Ads that Sylvanus just showed you. Later this year, you'll get ongoing insights on which assets are performing, along with new recommended assets. Retailers in particular can see immediate benefits from rich, immersive visual content, but getting brand-ready image content is expensive and time-consuming. Using our new product studio to enhance and create high-quality images in minutes. It's part of our ongoing efforts to make it easier than ever for retailers to showcase their products. I want to invite Brandy up for a look at what you'll be able to do with Product Studio. Thanks, Jerry. I'm Brandy, one of the product leaders on the shopping team. And today, I'm going to showcase how retailers can manage, create, and upload product content directly from their feeds. 
We know that offers with more than one image see a 76% average increase in impressions and a 32% increase in clicks, making this a really valuable feature for retailers. All right, let's see the product studio in action when we edit this honey and peach scrub. We're going to transform this into a lifestyle image, so let's get started. Today we're going to select generate a scene, which also automatically removes the current background and increases the image resolution. So you'll get to see the full suite of features. When you click, you'll see the background is automatically removed. Then you can enlarge the image so that it really pops within your scene. Now, this is where it gets really fun. You can add in the description of what you want your photo to look like. Let's put this one on a stone platform. And because it's a peach scented lotion, I think we should add some peaches and plants would be good too. You just click to generate the scene, and after a little bit, you'll have four options to choose from. I like these, but let's say you have a new idea. Why don't we warm this one up a little bit and try a beach scene, since it's almost summer here. You click to regenerate the scene, and just like that, you'll get new options to review. Pretty cool, right? Personally, I like this one in the top left, so check the box and then add to Merchant Center. Now you can add or place the image in your online store, and you're done. Every product image you save will automatically update in your product feed to be used across Google channels, or you can download them to use on your other channels. You can create as many different images as you want, making it really easy to update for special events, holidays, or seasons. This feature will be available in English in the US later this year for customers and agencies through Google Merchant Center Next and Shopify. Back to you, Jerry. Thanks, Brandy. You really get to see the power of AI. So those are some ways that you can drive, create high quality assets that, that drive performance for you. You also need to have solid measurement and insights so that you can make decisions confidently. You need measurement that enables you to understand the difference between a click and a fully realized customer relationship across channels. It's possible to deliver measurement and insights that you can use to grow customer lifetime value and propel your business into an era of next level growth. Strengthening a measurement with only the highest quality data directly enables Google AI to work harder for you. Solutions like the Insights page, Google Analytics 4, and conversion modeling open up new privacy safe possibilities for your marketing, even as if it feels like insights are tougher to come by. The good news is that privacy safe marketing and performance can go hand in hand. In fact, after a positive privacy experience with their second choice brand, 49% of people said they would switch from their preferred brand to their second choice brand. If you get privacy right, customers will notice. They're paying attention. People want more transparency and control. And we view these as core tenets of building an advertising experience for people who interact with our ads. Google, as a company, has strong commitments to user privacy. We have specific privacy principles that explain our practices and what we stand for. For example, we respect people's privacy and never sell their personal information to anyone. And we give people easy ways to stay in control of the information that we use to serve them ads with revolutionary products like My Ad Center. When we get this right as an industry, everybody wins. That's why we're investing in adopting the privacy sandbox technologies. We'll continue testing and incorporating them into our products as Chrome moves towards third-party cookie deprecation next year. As we adopt new technologies, it's also a good time to build your foundation of first-party data, which is data based on direct interactions with your customers. In fact, you should center your marketing on a thoughtful approach with that data, as it's the best way to confidently steer the AI. The gap is widening between businesses with a strong foundation of consented first-party data and those without. It makes sense. With the right approach, you can reward customers for having a relationship with you. 
while nine out of 10 companies say that first party data is important to their digital marketing programs, less than a third of marketers consistently and effectively access and integrate first party data across channels. This year, we're addressing that imbalance between the importance and integration of first party data. We're simplifying the way you manage your first party data with Google so you can easily measure conversions, reach relevant audiences, and drive incremental revenue, ultimately leading to better outcomes for your business. This means streamlining the way that you manage first party data in Google Ads, all in a privacy centric way. This emphasis on privacy ties to our principles to give you assurances that your customer data is protected. Enabling first party data is often done by multiple internal teams, and it has to be easier for you to work across your organizations. Later this year, businesses large and small will be able to seamlessly and securely connect data sources, translate data into insights, and improve the overall accuracy of measurement. We're in a new era and the future is arriving fast. We'll look back on this time as the moment when it finally became possible to actually market at the speed of consumers, when instantaneous, infinitely tailored creative became a real thing, and when confidence in the ROI of every dollar spent made marketing synonymous with profit center. I see an enormous opportunity for the future of marketing with ever better solutions powered by AI to drive results for all of your businesses. It's a chance for marketing to become a true engine of business growth. In everything we announced today, know that it's designed to help all of you thrive. It's your marketing multiplied by Google AI. This is our moment as an industry to embrace a new era, to rise to increase privacy expectations, and to unlock the possibilities of AI. If we get this right, we can build the future of marketing together. Thank you for joining us at Google Marketing Live. A cat. Food. Good for your cat. Buena para el planeta. Welcome Vidya Srinivasan. It is so nice to be back on the stage again. And just what an incredible time in our industry. So I have three big product updates to share with all of you. Um, this is what our teams have been working on. And then I'm going to give you some actionable steps to unlock the benefits of AI, like Philip had been talking about earlier. So we're gonna to get to the actionable steps, but I'm guessing you probably wanna hear all the cool product stuff first, right? Yeah? yeah? All right. Generative AI. I bet none of you saw that coming. <laughs> Two weeks ago, we announced new generative AI capabilities in search. These new experiences will make search smarter and searching a lot simpler. 
And we are doing this while still connecting people to businesses online. And you can think of this as the first step to supercharge search with Gen AI technology. And ads, of course, will continue to be an integral part of the whole user experience. You will find this new Search Generative Experience, or SGE, in Search Labs, a new program to access early experiments in search, starting with the US. Today, I'd like to build on what we said at Google I.O. and talk about how we are integrating ads natively into these experiences. And to do so, we're going to be running many experiments this year. Because we want to really understand what works for users and works, what works for all of you so that you continue to get the performance you've just come to expect from search ads. Let me show you what these experiments will look like. Um, so imagine you're planning a trip to Hawaii with your kids. And now you can come back to the keynote. <laughs> And then you want to know what activities you might do with them in Maui. So you type your question into search. And in this example, you see clearly labeled text ads relevant to your search right above the AI-powered snapshot. Now, as we said in Google I.O., these ads may appear throughout the search experience. And now as you scroll down, you see the snapshot in this greenish gray color uh, with a summary of activities. And if you want, you can ask follow-up questions. Next, you look at all the suggestions that it's given you, and then you decide, hey, I want to take my kids for a hike. But then you realize you need a new backpack for your kids. So you tap ask a follow-up and search for hiking backpack for kids. At this point, you enter a new mode in search for conversations, as shown here. And then you see the query followed by an AI-powered snapshot with all the key considerations for choosing just the right backpack. In this case, ads are placed within the list of products. And, and just, just pause here for just a minute, because this is, this is a really beautiful moment. Because at this point, we have a deeper understanding of what the user is really looking for, and then we have the opportunity to delight them in something that is just highly relevant. So that's conversational mode. And we look forward to a lot of learnings in this space. Lastly, we're exploring how to combine your existing assets with generative AI to create highly context-sensitive ad creatives. Let's see an example of that. Let's say you're done with the hiking. Uh, kids love the backpack. And now you want to do something more adventurous. Let's say you want to take them surfing. So you ask, is it easy for them to learn surfing? The new capability here is that the context is carried over from question to question. So in this case, both the organic results and the ads understand that you're interested in surfing, and that's just the current query you typed. But then it also knows that you're referring to your kids, and this is on Maui. So an appropriate ad is created for that. Let's take a closer look at the customized ad for Get Your Guide. Here the AI draws on the advertiser's landing pages and all their existing campaigns to write a copy that brings together surfing, kids, and Maui. It then finds relevant lessons to group together to match the ad to the search journey. Also, we thought this was pretty cool to bring it all together. Um, so that's, that's our search update. And we expect to bring all of these new search experiences to the US customers in the near future. Now let's talk about YouTube. You've told us that you want more ways to reach users as they're discovering new products. We're announcing another AI-powered campaign called Video View Campaigns. This is focused on maximizing views on YouTube, bought on a cost-per-view basis. Leveraging this campaign can help you rise to the top of people's minds just as they are in their exploration phase. In fact, early testing shows video view campaigns get an average 40% more views than in-stream skippable CPV campaigns. And this campaign combines ads in true view in-stream, in-feed, and shots all in a single campaign. You'll be able to join our beta for this next month from anywhere in the world. And now on to my third announcement. We are in introducing another new campaign type called Demand Gen. And no points for guessing, this is also AI powered. <laughs> this can help you engage and drive action among consumers 
with immersive and visual creatives. And Demandian Campaigns offers a set of unique features designed especially for the needs of today's social marketers. First, Demandian lets you reach users on our most visual and entertainment-focused touch points like YouTube, Discover, and Gmail, with your top-performing video and image assets, of course. And we've made it much easier for you to just lift and shift all that imagery, uh, all your creatives, into this Demandian campaign. You'll also be able to uh, create brand new, qualified, AI-powered lookalike audiences. And even better, you'll be able to tailor the creatives to specific audience segments. Of course, you'll be able to measure conversions, but you're not just limited to that. You'll be able to get insights on search, brand lift, uh, all, all part of this campaign. OK, so that's three incredible updates. Uh, I am so proud of the work our teams have been doing to bring all of these AI and capabilities to you. But then you're probably wondering, what do I do today to prepare? Well, we've assembled a new checklist of what I'm calling the Google Ads AI Essentials. These are the actions that you can take today. So let's get right to it. So it all starts with data. And I know everybody knows this, but it's worth repeating. To drive performance and measurement, you need a strong foundation of data. You want to ensure that the AI optimizes for your specific use case. So first, establish robust site-wide tagging with the Google tag. This helps you make the most of your first-party data because it just collects and organizes all these right signals but, and also does it in a privacy-safe way. Next, set up enhanced conversions. This allows us to have a more comprehensive view of what is happening to improve the accuracy of your conversion modeling. And better conversion modeling means better bidding, smarter bidding. For conversions, now assign values such as revenue or profit. And these actions just make every conversion really work for you because you've taken all the effort to bring them in. And once Google AI knows what a high value conversion looks like, it can optimize for it. And please upgrade to Google Analytics 4. <laughs> I know we've been saying this a while now. Uh, but GA4 is critical for many reasons. It provides cross-channel measurement, predictive audiences, and targeting based on AI. And really, this is the best thing you can do to just future-proof your measurement. So each one of these four foundational steps gets you more accurate measurement. And the more accurate your measurement is, the better your AI-powered campaigns are. In fact, AI-powered campaigns are the next part of our checklist. So Jerry talked about the power pairing of search and performance max. And this is truly the best way to maximize conversions across all of Google. And starting today, we are going to make this power pairing even better with broad match brand controls. And yes, I sneaked in another product announcement. But all of you have been asking for this, so we figured you'd like it. So with this, you'll be able to get additional reach for broad match while still ensuring that it matches all the relevant brand traffic. And for Performance Max, we have two new optimization goals. One is around acquiring customers who have a high lifetime value. And the second is around acquiring customers who've just not been paying much attention to you recently. You'll be able to guide Google AI to bid more for both of these categories of users. And these new goals in Performance Max are made possible because of value-based bidding, because we can now align conversion values to actual business outcomes. OK, let me then do a quick call out to our enterprise folks here. Please upgrade to the new Search Ads 360, because this really maximizes performance across all your engines, all the engines that it supports. And there are just so many improvements we've made. And that's just been across the board, whether it's bidding, forecasting, or insights. And I don't know about you, but when I'm searching these days, I get very excited when I see and interact with a wide range of and wide and diverse set of creatives. And this is true whether I'm shopping, looking for a store, or just trying to find a hotel. So my team leads the product and engineering behind all the ads that you see on search, shopping, and maps. And let me tell you, we see a huge difference in the auction performance when the creative that we use is high quality and compelling. You've also surely noticed that the Google results page is just more browsable and immersive these days. So please provide us all your beautiful creatives. 
And if you don't have them, you might want to make some and then give it to us, because then our AI-powered campaigns can get your ads to participate in all of these beautiful experiences. So that's the core checklist. But taking a step back, we notice that the marketers who reap the benefits of AI for their business all have one thing in common, and a mindset that really is agile and de-siloed when it comes to organizational boundaries. This means a culture of experimentation, of trying new things, figuring out what works, and leaving the rest. And at Google, we're really here to partner with you through this process. But I also know from talking to many of you that the shift to AI can feel uncomfortable, almost as if you're competing with it. But this is what I'd like you to remember. You're not competing with AI. You're competing with other marketers using AI. So embrace it, both the technology as well as the culture that can support it. So these are our essentials. Please download this checklist, pin it up in the office wall, or just make sure your team see it. We really think it can go a long way. And we have a QR code. <laughs> OK, so I know I threw a lot at you. Um, and you probably have many questions and concerns. I now want to invite my friend Jason Hartley, head of search and shopping at PMG, which is a performance marketing company, and an active member of ANA's Ethics Policy Committee to the stage because I look forward to hearing his perspective. Jason, come on out. Thank you so much for being here, Jason. Uh, it's great to be here. Um, I've been thinking a lot about AI recently. I think probably somebody out here might have as well. <laughs> I would bet on that. So some real talk. You saw the checklist. Right. What do you really think? What, what's missing? Well, it's great because there's so many things that are changing, all the things that have been announced in the last few weeks. You know, we need a roadmap to keep us focused. Um, and I think probably what I would say is missing are the details, but that's my job. <clears throat> and what would you say really stood out to you? Um, well, it's really good to see mindsets in there because there is so much change and that can be uncomfortable. So, you know, experimentation and agility are going to be key. And I think the essentials list can be one of those tools that are going to keep us focused along the way. That, that's great to hear. Uh, but I know there's also apprehension uh, about the ways in which AI might affect jobs. Uh, how do you think about that? Well, I think, you know, 10 years ago, I was thinking about automation for my own job as things were going, but you know, when you're thinking about the future, it can be easier to focus on what you're losing rather than what you might be gaining because it's more tangible. Um, but when I think back about 10 years ago and where we are now, you know, we're still pretty busy, um, and, uh, but our jobs are more strategic. Uh, it's more fulfilling, ultimately. We're spending a little less time in spreadsheets and more time talking like this and thinking about what we can do. Um, and I see a lot more opportunities coming with AI. Got it. And, and speaking of new opportunities, uh, one of the things we talked about was the new search generative experiences. What, what are your thoughts on that? So I'm very excited about that. And I don't say excited a lot, just so you know. You can, might see them pretty calm at, at, at usually, but I am excited about this because especially like the, the idea of being able to do follow-up questions, that, that's really incredible because it helps us drill down into what people really want. So it's going to help us give it to them. You know? And so we're going to have better performance, and it'll be a better experience for people. Mm -hmm. And we're really just at the start. So I think there's going to be expon exponentially new opportunities. Mm -hmm. And you're not even a little bit nervous? All right, I'm a little nervous. <clears throat> um, you know, it's going to be disruptive, for sure. Um, but when I think back about the way that Google has always done product launches, it starts out slow, mm -hmm. um, it's rolled out to us, and we give you a lot of feedback, mm -hmm. a lot of feedback, as you know, yes, um, yeah. and, and you respond to that, especially the last few years. I've seen a lot of partnership from Google um, as we've improved products that were out there, mm -hmm. and then it will scale. Um, you know, candidly, I think that over the last several years, I, I can't think of a product that stuck that ended up being bad for search or bad for marketers or bad for any of my clients' businesses. You know, Google seems to make it work. That's, that's great. Well, we are going to end on that. Google just makes it work. Uh, thank you all, and thank you, Jason. With some help. <laughs>
Our story at Wheel the World began with an email from friends asking me to go on a travel adventure with them. We have been able to affect change, not just for Alvaro, but all of our customers as well. As we cater to the specific needs of accessible travel, finding new customers was a challenge for us. With Google Ads AI-powered solutions, we were able to reach the right leads and maximize the number of bookings. With enhanced conversions and our HubSpot integration, we are able to measure the full customer journey from start to finish. And with better measurement, we were able to scale our customer base with a focus on quality while preserving user privacy. Since using Google Ads and our first-party data from HubSpot, we have seen a 65% increase in bookings. And that is directly attributable to our lead generation strategy with Google Ads. Please welcome Saline Song. Hello everyone. My team works with tens of thousands of businesses online to make them succeed. And for the past 20 years, I have been lucky to have worked with businesses across the globe. I get so inspired when speaking to customers like Wheel the World, who are using Google AI to make the world more inclusive and accessible for all. You've heard a lot about Google AI today and about how those breakthroughs in technology will change the ways that people, businesses, and communities function. But what I'm most excited about is how we're integrating AI across everything we create at Google. Because when organizations of all sizes use and benefit from Google AI, it helps create opportunities for everyone to be successful. Per the World Bank, micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises account for 90% of businesses, 60 to 70% of employment, and 50% of GDP worldwide. Put simply, SMBs are the beating heart of the global economy, and I'm glad to live in a world where we have more diverse options for goods and services. Ru9 is an incredible woman-owned business based in Vietnam, founded by Trang Dong. Trang had the vision to change people's relationship to sleep. And as a mom of two young kids, let me tell you, I know just how essential sleep is to our well-being. Trang embraced this opportunity and started her journey to create the best and most affordable foam mattresses in Vietnam. Ru9 started selling mattresses online only in Ho Chi Minh City, but Trang used AI-powered ad solutions like Performance Max and video action campaigns to scale her business across Vietnam, achieving a 10x return on every dollar spent. She's now grown from a team of two to 48 strong, and Trang is inspiring the next generation of female entrepreneurs in her home country. Just awesome. Every business needs to acquire customers, get more from existing customers, and of course, stay profitable. But when you're juggling multiple priorities, it can be daunting to find the time or the energy to get through your entire to-do list. This is where Google AI can bring you into a whole new era of getting things done. Take Google Workspace as an example, one of the many Google products that businesses use today. Our Smart Compose and Smart Reply features have been helping me finish sentences for years. Now with Gmail's new Help Me Write feature, you can type in a quick prompt and have it write your entire loan application or request for proposal. AI can help take your productivity to new heights. And that's a huge win for busy business owners who need to free up time so they can focus more on their customers. We are just as committed to bringing that same seamless application of Google AI to our ad solutions. Four in five small businesses say digital ads help them compete with larger businesses. We want all marketers to have access to more powerful tools that make it easier to drive better results. This is a game changer for SMBs and makes it possible for all businesses to compete with the most sophisticated advertisers and drive growth. Let's start with the basics, making sure that people can find your products online. Merchant Center is the first step for retailers to reach consumers and then use AI-powered ad solutions to promote their products to shoppers. But inventory management 
can be time consuming and complicated, especially for smaller businesses who may not know how to get started with Google. Now, we're introducing a new Merchant Center experience called Google Merchant Center Next. Businesses will be able to use our simplified experience to automatically connect product information from their website. You'll have control over how your products appear on Google without the hassle of manually uploading a feed. You'll also get insights on top selling products on Google and pricing benchmarks, even insights about the competitive landscape. Merchant Center Next is already available to some retailers and will gradually roll out to everyone soon. It's a simpler way for retailers of all sizes to showcase their business and products across Google. Meeting consumers where they are is the starting point to building lasting customer relationships. But data and insights are the foundation that helps you maximize those touch points and your performance. Google Analytics 4 is a great example of a tool that makes Google AI available for everyone and helps you better measure your impact in a privacy safe and durable way. I regularly hear from some of you that analyzing and understanding your marketing results can be overwhelming and you don't always feel you have the expertise or time to do it right. If this challenge sounds familiar, I have got great news for you. Based on your feedback, you'll be able to build audiences from Google Analytics directly in your ads account, making campaign creation much, much faster. This includes predictive audiences, which uses Google AI to help you reach people who are more likely to purchase. And this feature is only available in Google Analytics 4. So if you haven't yet upgraded to the newest generation of our measurement solutions, what are you waiting for? You have five weeks left. Please, please make sure you do so by July 1st. As Philip said, finding the right customer or the right moment can feel like a moving target. And that's because, frankly, it is. And most companies don't have the luxury of trial and error to find out what works. Marketing campaigns have to show results, and they have to show results quickly. That was our intent behind Performance Max campaigns. Tell us your marketing goal, and we'll take the guesswork and the hard work out of finding new customers across all of Google. Jerry and Vidya have already shared some new innovations coming to Performance Max, but it's also clear from the conversations that I've had with many of you, you want to know how Performance Max is driving results. I think it's safe to say this is our most requested feature. So I'm thrilled to announce that we're bringing more insights to Performance Max. Now you can use revamp search term insights to go back and understand how Performance Max is responding to your changes so that you can refine your campaigns and get even better results. And in the future, you'll also be able to see more detail on what's driving changes in performance and how your creative assets are resonating. Bringing more transparency to Performance Max will continue to make it simpler for you to work with Google AI and find next level growth all from a single campaign. AI has the potential to level the playing field for businesses of all sizes, now and into the future. But beyond that, I hope that what you've heard today has demonstrated Google's belief in the transformational benefits AI will have on how we live, work, and experience the world. How you tap into AI to reimagine your marketing is limited only by your ability to see the possibilities the possibility to make customer connections in real time, to design high quality creative instantly, and to make decisions confidently with insights and trusted measurement solutions that help you make the most out of every single dollar. And that's what we mean by your marketing multiplied by Google AI. Thank you for partnering with us. We look forward to helping you along every step of the journey. Samsung is a truly global organization. On one hand, we need to address our message globally, but on the other hand, we need to adapt our strategy and tone of voice to reach many consumers in different markets. Brazilian consumers, they're very promotional. They buy when they have a good deal. It's very easy to sell when you give a big discount, right? But your profit goes down. 
Within India, there's a huge disparity in consumer demographics across North and South regions. This stretch of geographies, price, inventories, makes it difficult for us to optimize performance and also grow at the same time. We call Turkey where the continents meet. With this diversity, we have a lot of different segments and we are trying to achieve real personalized communication. So in order to achieve that, we are focusing on AI technology. We knew Performance Max was giving the full power of AI, but we didn't trust AI-powered campaigns in the beginning. Why put everything at risk? We started in a test and learn approach and that made us a little bit more confident about using AI. Here in Turkey, the learning period was very fast and eventually we saw revenue increasing by five times. So this gave us the confidence that we needed to scale. In India, the results were phenomenal. We doubled our revenue without affecting our return advertising spends too much. I don't think currently there's a product available in the market that we can use to achieve the similar results. Performance Max AI will help us multiply our team expertise. It will give us more insights and smart ways to reach customers. Google, for sure, will be a strong partner for us in the future. I have no doubt about that. Please welcome Sean Downey. Good morning. Everyone having a great morning so far? It's amazing. I'm so excited to be here. I actually love to geek out about innovation and disruption. So I loved hearing the product vision from Jerry and Vidya. Uh, it's really fascinating and ex exceptional what we can do in the future. But it's not what I'm most excited about. I'm most excited because of what it means to all of you. Because everything that we build is to help you grow your businesses. And to help you evolve your marketing with AI-powered solutions, it's incredibly important to understand where to invest and how to unlock new growth opportunities for everyone. So today, I want to focus on the biggest opportunities in the Americas region. The best part of my job is getting to meet with all of you. And I want to share some stories from three partners who are capturing these opportunities in achieving next level growth and profitability for their businesses. And my hope is that's going to inspire you to lean on AI in some way to help your businesses. So let's jump in. First, as Philip said, finding the right customers in the right moment is a moving target. And it's incredibly hard to do that because the way consumers interact with your brands is different than it was before. So take website browsing, for example. 63% of people in the United States visit multiple websites before settling on what to buy or who to buy it from. And that's just one channel. So when you zoom out and you see the full picture, there's videos, there's podcasts, there's smart TVs, apps, and more. Now, we all know the importance of moving at the speed of our consumer, but the pace at which they move today is getting faster than the message that you could possibly serve. It feels almost impossible to keep up. And that's why you need AI to help your teams learn and adapt in real time with them. With Google AI, we can compute where and when an ad is served and help you maximize those results. So let's take a look at how Vans has embraced AI-powered marketing and transformed their omni-channel experience to achieve phenomenal growth. The Vans mission and culture is truly about authentic self-expression and unapologetically and fearlessly being yourself. In so much of our previous implementation, having the ability to adjust creative, adjust products, adjust goals in real time was extraordinarily limited. What Performance Max will enable is the ability for us to create seamless, relevant journeys for everyone in our audience, whether you're a core skater or you're a parent during Back to Campus. The holiday campaign results that were really exciting to us was to see an 86% lift in sales year over year compared to standard shopping. Performance Max and value-based bidding has really allowed us to tap into our highest value consumers and serving them a message that is the most relevant to them. So it's way less work with much stronger results. And we love that. 
Wow, really incredible. I have a house full of skaters, so Vans is a great and iconic band in my house. But the key takeaway is that AI-powered ads helped enable them to revamp their entire omni-channel experience based on their consumers' preferences to achieve incredible growth. And the results, well, they really spoke for themselves. 86% lift in sales year over year during a highly competitive holiday season. It's worth repeating. 86% lift in sales. Who wants to sign up for that in the holiday season? And really incredible, amazing. Second, Google AI can help scale and multiply one of the most critical drivers of ROI, your creative. And to make every customer connection point pay off in the best possible way for your marketing goals, you need to have the right creatives in that equation. Now, the fragmented and fast-moving consumer journey makes it incredibly hard for you to show your brand message at its best across every single touch point. But this is where AI can help you. Upload your brand creative so that the AI engine can work to generate the right version to make your message shine at every single touch point. But of all the creative types, video is probably the most complex to get right. And that's because that opportunity is immense. Just think about YouTube alone. People watch billions of hours of video and generate billions of views every day. And the way people consume video is really fast evolving as well, giving you more chances to connect with them throughout your entire campaign. In fact, video has taken over the living room and so many in-between moments in our lives as well. We're streaming more video than ever on our connected televisions. We're tapping into videos for quick hits of entertainment or we're searching for answers in a moment of need. This presents a huge opportunity for you to connect with your audiences across all these moments. So let's take a look at another customer who took their brand to new heights with the right video creative strategy. The Nissan US team wants to build awareness and excitement for its all new, all electric vehicle, Aria. They investigated what their audience was watching on YouTube and zeroed in on the trend of lo-fi music visualizers. These viewers are especially passionate about electric vehicles, and they already like the Nissan brand. Now, inspired by a popular creator called Lo-Fi Girl, the team built out a hero lo-fi video creative to launch the Aria model in the United States. This ad was amplified across YouTube, including two takeovers, of the official Lo-Fi Girl YouTube channel, six-second bumper video ads, and a diverse mix of music lineups, just to name a few. And their results were remarkable. This video drew over 18 million views. Keep in mind, this is a four-hour video that can only run on YouTube. And it literally had thousands of comments of people saying, this is the best ad I've ever seen. Can you imagine people saying that about your ad? Four hours, the best ad I've ever seen. <laughs> My gosh, that's a true lean back moment. That's a true brand lift moment for you. And the best part for Nissan is it had business results that mattered. Nissan US saw a lift of over 10x on their search lift for the Nissan Aria keyword and a 7% lift in brand awareness. So by leaning into a trend that speaks directly to a consumer base, with the right creative, you can bring your brand to life in the most profitable and magical way. Lastly, let's talk about measurement. To make all the AI-powered ad solutions work at their best for you, you need to put in place a strong foundation of measurement that succeeds with confidence. Now, this might require a bit of a mindset shift for your organization to think about measurement across all channels and all operations that maximize your ROI as well as your profitability. But this is the third opportunity where AI can help make a huge difference for your business. Now, I'm a realist. I know there's some uncertainty about how to measure the impact of marketing in a world without cookies, but we have to remember it's more about having proof that marketing is growing your business, that your investment has an impact on the bottom line, is improving that over and over again at scale. And the best way to do this is through first-party data, modeling, and having a set of privacy-safe measurement solutions to help you connect all the dots for your business. It might sound daunting, but it can bring clarity to your marketing and drive next-level growth for your business. Snowflake 
is a great example of how marketing teams can lean into this strategy and thrive with confidence. Faced with the same shifting privacy changes everyone here has, the Snowflake marketing team decided to get ahead of the problem. They saw an opportunity to use first party data to strengthen privacy safe measurement and acted on that in a big way. They put first party data in the core of their measurement strategy and built a durable foundation with the help of solutions like Google Analytics 4 and enhanced conversions. This measurement foundation gave them the clarity across the entire lead to sale customer journey, allowing them to find high quality leads across all their platforms. And the result? They increased the quality of leads and achieved a 33% conversion increase with 15 times lower cost per conversion. Really impressive results. Having a strong measurement foundation is the key to unlocking the power of Google AI that's gonna help multiply your marketing. And we're so excited to be here to help you do that every day. Now, I'm grateful to all of you for spending time with us and our teams. We're so committed to the partnerships and to helping you connect with the right customers, to delight viewers with engaging video creatives, and to make decisions for your business more confidently. We've had a great journey. We have a great road ahead of us, and I'm looking forward to doing that together. So thank you. Please welcome Nikki Retke. Good morning. Is everyone having fun? All right, good, I hope so. Um, I've had the privilege of leading product development for YouTube ads over the past 12 years. And it's been humbling and rewarding to see how YouTube has evolved to be such a unique platform that brings together viewers, creators, and advertisers, all of you. In a world where people can watch anything, the world watches YouTube. And YouTube is a key platform to unlock the power of AI. It enables you to connect with its massive viewer base with the right video creative. On YouTube, billions of viewers interact with millions of creators every day. It's where new hits are uploaded by the minute and where the world's most original voices and stories live. Now, creators are continually testing the boundaries of expression on YouTube. The platform offers a very diverse creative canvas and we're continually expanding it. For marketers, YouTube offers all the formats that you need to build deep connections with your customers. And a powerful AI engine to amplify that message to the right viewers as they watch everything that they love. With a variety of content, from long form to shorts to live, you have infinite possibilities to bring your campaigns to life no matter how the viewer chooses to watch YouTube. In fact, People choose YouTube on every screen, for every format. And YouTube has become people's first choice in streaming. In a Kantar survey of weekly video viewers in the US, over half said that YouTube is the first app that they open on their connected TV, myself included. And according to data from Nielsen NMI, YouTube accounts for over 72% of top ad-supported video streaming watch time among people over the age of 18. That means that more Americans are choosing to spend time with YouTube than any other ad-supported platform. And as YouTube takes over the living room, mobile watch time is also exploding thanks to fun and fresh content like Shorts. YouTube Shorts has now surpassed 50 billion daily views globally. OK, I'm going to do a little pop quiz, see if you're paying attention. I'm going to let all of you guess which audiences do you think are driving this shorts love? Feel free to just shout it out. Any takers? OK, I think I heard boomers. Uh, not boomers. It's Gen Z. Yes. <laughs> I mean, boomers are watching too. But uh, So this is how Gen Z participates in pop culture and internet trends. And guess what? That same powerful AI engine that's helping viewers discover all this amazing content also helps you to connect with them, the right ad and the right moment across all screens. Now, 
the unlimited possibilities of video ads can be, you know, a little bit complex for you because somebody needs to make and manage all these video creatives. Well, this is another area where Google AI can just be magical. As you heard from Jerry, you can now easily generate videos based off of existing assets from your product feed or your app store listing. Beyond that, you can easily increase the reach and impact of your campaigns across more places with AI, YouTube Shorts in particular. For example, let's say you, know, you don't have a vertical or a square video. That's OK. We can create one for you based off of your horizontal video. You can even add voiceovers to your videos, either automatically or you can do it yourself with our tools, just like this. We're always in your corner. Now, these AI technologies can also be used to enhance your image ad creatives on YouTube really easily, such as converting low resolution images to high definition ones or adjusting an existing image to best suit the serving context with a little bit of smart cropping. Adding more variety and more diversity to your asset mix helps hit your campaign goals. And advertisers that had included at least one video of each orientation to their Performance Max campaigns delivered 20% more conversions on YouTube compared to if they just use horizontal videos alone. Now, we introduced ads on shorts last year to help you drive performance in your direct response campaigns through video action campaigns, performance max, and app campaigns. And just a few weeks ago, we expanded ads on shorts to enable you to run awareness campaigns and reach highly engaged YouTube audiences. And as you just heard from Vidya, you can now reach consumers on shorts with the all new demand gen campaign. I'm proud to say that you can now tap into shorts ads for any marketing objective that you have. OK, let's take a look at Mondelez. They were an early adopter of shorts ads. And YouTube is a tried and true ROI driver for their popular candy brand, Sour Patch Kids. Also one of my personal favorite candies. So for a recent brand campaign, they tapped into video reach campaigns. And they did this to access in feeds and shorts. And they wanted to determine if more formats would bring incremental value. Well, they found that these new ad environments help drive higher brand awareness lift and more efficiency for their campaigns. So no sour and just sweet. All right, speaking of reaching audiences, we're always looking for ways to help you reach new customers and connect with existing ones in privacy safe ways. Display and Video 360 provides a great platform that enables you to do that through programmatic buying. In October, we announced the vision for publisher, advertiser, identity reconciliation. OK, I know that is a mouthful, so let's just say pair for short. This is a new way for advertisers to power their advertising using first party data in DV360. Using privacy safe technology, pair gives advertisers and publishers the option to reconcile their first party data for audiences who have visited both the advertisers and the publisher's site. This allows you to connect with your known audiences more closely to drive better performance, all while respecting people's privacy expectations. Based on the promising early showing, we're now making Pair more widely available to advertisers and publishers. And you'll also have more flexibility to use the data clean rooms that you're already working with. Brands like Cadillac, Indeed, and Vox Media are all actively testing Pair, and they're seeing really strong initial results. And no matter how you choose to connect with your audience, you need to see the results. As every one of you here knows, measurement is absolutely critical to driving business growth. And like you've already heard today, it's all about having confidence in your measurement. Consumer journeys are no longer linear. And that's why it's more important than ever to have a holistic view of your customers and measure the full value of all of their interactions with your brand. This is where data-driven attribution, or DDA for short, comes into play on Google Analytics. It's designed to help you achieve exactly that in privacy-safe ways. Using Google AI, DDA dynamically assigns fractional credit to each touchpoint on a path to conversion, 
whether it's paid or organic. This enables you to make better decisions on where to spend your next dollar. That's right, folks. You heard it here first. Last click. So last year. <laughs> All right, cheesy jokes aside, uh, now we are making DDA more actionable. Starting today, you can import your campaign conversions with DDA data from Google Analytics 4 to Google Ads. That way you can ensure more accurate bidding and more efficient conversions across your campaigns. For the first time, you're able to take action on the full value of your customer engagements and not just the last click. But what about connected TV? Well, good news. Not only are we helping you to better understand the conversion path on your Google Ads campaigns, we're also working on ways to give you more insights and confidence on connected TV measurement. In the US, hundreds of millions of people watch connected TVs. And as you tap into this growing audience, you need to know, is connected TV working for you? Once again, Display and Video 360 is the platform to help you measure the effectiveness of your connected TV campaigns. The new digital and TV report in Display and Video 360 enables you to measure the overall reach and efficiency of your connected TV campaigns right alongside your traditional TV campaigns. Having these important insights helps better inform your future media investments. Together with cross-device conversion measurement, you'll have the full picture of how connected TV campaigns are hitting your marketing objectives across the funnel. And eligible customers in the US can join the beta today and we'll be expanding to general availability later this year. Okay, I know I covered a lot and you've heard a lot. So to summarize, the explosive growth of video consumption creates a huge opportunity for you to reach your audience at scale. From shorts to long form to live, take advantage of all the formats available on YouTube to build deep engagement with your customers. And the consumer journey is more fluid than ever making connection, connecting the right audience to the right moments even more imperative. Use privacy-safe solutions to reach your most valuable customers. And across all these customer touch points, you want to make decisions with confidence. Use first-party data to strengthen your measurement and better understand the entire customer journey. All right, I hope you are all as excited about these announcements as I am. Thank you. Please welcome John Nicoletti. Hey everybody, I'm John Nicoletti and I'm thrilled to close out the morning and set you up for the rest of what's gonna be a great GML. At the top of the hour, Philip talked about how AI will bring magic to everyday experiences for everyone and drive results for businesses like yours. This isn't meant to be dramatic, but that is a pretty big deal. We're talking about an inflection point. And this type of inflection point does not come around very often. In fact, there have only been so many truly transformational inflection points in the last 100 years. Television, the internet, mobile. But this is not Google History Lessons. This is Google Marketing Live. And what is so exciting is that behind these inflection points are great marketers who've embraced them to drive innovation, build great brands, and help companies to thrive. Television spun innovations around planning and creative. It gave us the first wave of targeted advertising and some commercials we may never forget. But the question is, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? I think the answer is actually three. The answer is three. The internet gave rise to personalized and measurable advertising that drove huge impact for businesses of all sizes. And mobile has allowed brands to be more helpful and assistive in the everyday lives of consumers whenever and wherever they are. And now we're on the cusp of another massive shift. It presents an amazing opportunity to transform the future of marketing. And it's happening much, much faster than you think. Many marketers are already leveraging AI to capture new opportunities, and there is no better time to embrace this inflection point than right now. 
And that's why we're all here today at GML to help you lean in with Google AI. Now, to make this easy, we've created the AI essentials that you heard about earlier. This checklist is full of goodness to serve as your guide, but let me boil it down to three key actions that you can take today. First, quite simply, embrace AI in your marketing strategy. Start with a test mentality as there are so many ways AI can help and those who are leaning in early are getting further ahead every single day. You know, Vidya mentioned something earlier and it really stuck with me. It's the brands and agencies. You're not competing against each other. You're not competing against AI. You are competing against marketers who are already using it. Second, maximize results with AI powered campaigns. This starts with search and performance max, which many of you are doing really, really well, but it expands to demand gen and video view campaigns to drive even stronger results across the entire marketing funnel. These solutions will multiply the results of any marketing goal that you have nonstop, whether that is driving more sales of your products or finding high quality leads. To make your campaigns work even more effectively, use strong creative inputs to boost performance. Your customers are living their lives fluidly across screens and devices, and only AI can help you generate and surface the best version of your creatives across every single touch point. Finally, build a strong measurement foundation to unlock new growth with confidence. Insert whatever words you'd like to describe for measurement in our industry right now, but it's a little bit complex. Success and simplicity comes from combining your first party data with the power of AI to help you paint the full customer journey. It'll deliver more accurate measurement and optimize towards your business goals for better ROI. Now, every company here today, in person or watching on the live stream, will succeed with these strategies. Just this morning, you've heard so many brands who are already leveraging AI-powered solutions to find new customers, connect with them in new ways, and measure the impact with more confidence. And the magic of AI is that it's always improving. AI, see what we did there? Brands and agencies that are leaning into this inflection point early on, even in small ways, are getting exponential results. And as you've heard several times today, that is what we mean when we say your marketing multiplied by Google AI. And lastly, I'd like to say a huge thanks to all of you for your partnership. Thanks to everyone in the room and a huge, huge thanks to everyone on the live stream. Please do keep watching as there's so much to come in the post show. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, welcome to the Google Marketing Live keynote post show. I'm so happy to be here with y'all. We are live streaming from Google's Bayview campus in Mountain View, California. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm your host, Lori Siegel, along with Google's VP Global Product Lead, Jason Spiro. Hi, Lori. Um, that was really fun. That was uh, we're going to spend the next 30 minutes unlocking big announcements, talking through everything that we just heard, and chatting with the team that's behind these products and tools. We're also going to do something that I think is pretty special, is we're going to be talking with new VP and GM of Commerce at Google, Maria Rentz. That sounds great. I'm looking forward to all of it. I want to dive deep into what we just heard from the keynote Really quick, what's the takeaway? So much of this comes back to the three C's that we talked about, customer connections, creative, and confidence. So customer connections, you heard during the keynote, you talked about um, how we're gonna use AI to keep up with that really complex customer right. journey. Specifically, we heard about conversational AI, conversational experience in Google Ads, and we heard about updates to Performance Max. Creative, we heard about making it easy. You saw those amazing kind of videos with yeah. the cats um, to create best in class um, assets uh, for everyone. And then lastly, confidence. We talked about delivering measurement and insights to help advertisers grow their business in a privacy safe way. And we're gonna have experts with us right now to help us unpack all of this. That's great, I wanna get into it. So as promised, we have live data, the people have spoken. We asked all of you at home to let us know which topic you wanted to hear about first. So based on the poll results, we're gonna start our Q&A section with Performance Max. Now, Performance Max first became available in November 2021, and today, Vidya shared some exciting new updates. So Jerry talked about the power pairing of search 
and Performance Max. And this is truly the best way to maximize conversions across all of Google. And starting today, we are going to make this power pairing even better with broad match brand controls. So here to talk about those updates is Tim Frank, the Senior Director of Product Management per, for Performance Max. Welcome, Tim. Great to see you both. Thanks for having me. The people have spoken. We switched the order because folks wanted to hear about Performance Max. Thanks to all the voters. <laughs> I'm excited for that, too. So, Tim, we've heard a lot about AI today. Taking a step back, how is AI evolving how advertisers work? Well, AI is a huge part of our ads ecosystem. It's one of the reasons advertisers choose Google, is for the responsible application of AI that drives business results. It powers things like broad match, performance max, and so much more. AI is with you at every step of the marketer's journey, from creating campaigns and generating assets, to running campaigns with smart bidding, getting reporting, insights, and recommendations. But using AI doesn't mean you have no control. Your knowledge of your customers and the inputs you provide allow you to guide the AI to drive the best results. I know that was one of the biggest asks that I hear when I'm out with customers, so I want to thank you as we sit here right now for building all of that in. Welcome. I want to take on sort of something that also people are asking about a lot. There's a lot of um, sort of things that people have done, and we're kind of in this shift that we're talking about as kind of hands-on keyboards, shifting toward AI, taking over more of that kind of part of the function. And that's a big one that our partners are particularly interested in. I want to hear how you thought about designing features for Performance Max, understanding how to help advertisers make this shift. Look, this is a big shift. Jason, you know as well as anyone. We all know the marketing playbook is changing. It's nearly impossible to decide where to best spend your next marketing dollar amongst all the possibilities. Yeah. Because this is relatively new, we want to be explicit about the approach we're taking here. We want to understand your business the way that you think about it and deliver marketing performance grounded in your business goals and requirements. And we're thinking about requirements and controls in new ways, not manual controls over tactical layers like keyword management or bidding, but controls that are rooted in your business strategy, things like your ROI thresholds, how you value different customers, your brand story, and more. Keep sharing your use cases and business needs with us, as we know not everyone will be ready at the same time. And Tim, I'd love to get into generative AI specifically. When can advertisers expect to see this in Performance Max to actually help them build out creative? And then going off of that, how are you guys thinking about brand relevance and safety? I know obviously this is something advertisers care about deeply. They do care deeply. Um, creative, one, when done well, really drives performance. Today, we're helping you automate the collection of digital assets from your website, integrating with the ways you manage those assets, and generating assets for full breadth inventory coverage, and with enough variety and depth to optimize performance. So as we move forward with generative AI, quality matters. So here's a few of the things we're thinking about to make sure that we get it right. Ensuring brand safety and policy compliance, taking a responsible approach to the training data we use in our models, and that generated assets adhere to the best practices of what we've learned performs well. But we offer a guarantee. Whatever comes out of these generated visual assets, you get to review before it goes live to ensure it's rooted and grounded in your marketing strategy. You can expect to see these capabilities rolling out later this year, and we'll partner closely with advertisers in the space to better understand what's needed for their business. I think that guarantee is going to go a long way because as people build trust with these systems, I think it's a little bit unfamiliar. I want to go to another place that I hear a lot, and this is sort of a little bit of maybe a bad term, but a lot of performance advertisers would say that Performance Max maybe feels a little bit like a black box to them. Um, how is your team maybe acknowledging that and then building to help people navigate all of that? It's a great point. Lots of technologies feel like a black box when they're just starting out and unfamiliar but your marketing budget can't be left to chance. So we try to align the inputs you provide to the outputs we report on. Mm. For example, reporting back on qualified leads or total sales. Performance Max loves a test. <laughs> so we'll offer easy A-B testing to evaluate your specific results in the future. We know that advertisers want more transparency and insights. This is important to build trust but it's also useful to learn about your customers 
for use in other parts of your business. The Insights page is your go-to destination. Here you can see our growing portfolio of insights, which includes new insights for creative assets and an expanded search term category report. We've heard you and continue to invest in new insights and transparency. I want to thank you myself because I think that shows a lot of listening. We've been on this journey together, and I think that shows a lot of the listening that you and your team have done. Uh, I want to come back to the idea of customers and some of that reporting that you talked about. We know that not all customers are equally valuable to our marketers' businesses. How is your team building Performance Max to help advertisers reach the most valuable customers? We know that all customers are not valued equally, but the AI can't easily understand that unless you share that information. And after all, you know your customers best. This is where you can bring your own first-party data to guide the AI on your behalf. The audience and remarketing strategies of the past will become increasingly challenging with third-party cookie deprecation and privacy changes across the industry. You can already tell us who your current customers are so that we can focus on acquiring new ones. But you can supercharge this by telling us which customers are highest value so we can optimize to acquire even more of them. Tim, thank you so much for all the insight and for being here with us. Thanks so much for having me. Now, I want to turn our attention to the conversational experience in Google Ads. During the keynote, we heard quite a bit about this exciting new product. We've been working on a new solution powered by a large language model tuned specifically from ads data to make campaign construction easier than ever for search ads, our new conversational experience in Google Ads. You can have a natural language conversation with Google Ads to help you create keywords and assets that drive better performance. Now, joining us to talk about all things AI, you saw him earlier in the keynote. Here is Sylvanus Bent, the group product manager for Search Creatives. Welcome, Sylvanus. Hi, Jason. Hey, Lauren. Thanks for having me. It's great to have you here. And Sylvanus, we heard from Jerry about quite a few new AI-powered tools that will be available to advertisers soon. Talk to us a little bit about the inspiration for building the conversational experience in Google Ads. Sure. So for the Google Ads teams, our focus is always on building products that solve problems for advertisers and drive results. And you know, when it comes to using AI, we've been using AI in many of our products for years. Things like broad match, smart bidding, and responsive search ads. So then with Gen AI, we look at this as a, it's a new capability for us to solve like really challenging problems. And so when we look at like, what are the use cases, what are the problems marketers are having, uh, one of the key ones we thought this would be a great uh, application of is generating high quality keywords and high quality ads with a lot less effort. Mm. I thought you did a great job in the keynote, so I wanted to Thanks. congratulate you on that in this moment and yeah. ask, what are your thoughts about the quality of ads that are being generated by these tools? Sure, so quality is critical to everything we do. And there are, there are a lot of dimensions of how you look at quality, right? From a user point of view, it's, is it readable? Is it um, grammatically correct, a coherent message? And for advertisers, quality is also, uh, is this policy compliant? Does it perform relative to the goals that, and our objectives that we have? And uh, is this like grounded in the actual advertiser offering? Yeah. Right. Um, you know, we spoke to advertisers and agencies who are using some other generative tools out there. Uh, and I heard a couple themes, themes like uh, it doesn't understand the context of what would work in an ads campaign. Maybe it doesn't, doesn't understand policies, what would work well. Or sometimes we heard about issues they were having with hallucination, things that are not actually factually grounded. So like all of this are things we take care of and we think about quality. So that's why we're building this directly into the Google Ads platform and into the flow. So it has the context, it understands uh, policies, and it's gonna keep it like grounded in the advertiser's actual offering. And when we saw some like early testing, we do see people are able to get higher ad strength scores with a lot less effort as they like, it's a collaboration type of tool, as they collaborate mm. with the AI to generate high quality creatives. Mm. That's really interesting. And uh, one thing Jerry said, he said the goal of building the conversational experience in Google Ads was to make campaign construction uh, easier for search ads. So can you walk, walk us through this? How do you see this process making it easier? And how are you seeing advertisers interact with the conversational experience? What do you recommend they do when they first sign on? Sure, so I think it's easier because you literally just start with the URL, right? So with just the URL, the AI does like the first hard work, which is, let me try to summarize like what is this 
URL about, let me describe a bit about the business, the value prop, uh, and what the car target customer would be. And then the advertiser, you have a chance to like edit that, or if you think there's something missing, you can add in additional value props. And we like, I think what I'd want advertisers to do is first just give it a try. Um, and like really collaborate with this, right? Look at how you can give it a prompt and say, hey, I want to communicate a message this way. What are some ideas and options? And the tool will give you like suggestions back. You can say, hey, these will look really good. Maybe I don't want to use these other ones. Like it's a collaborative process. You're still in control. And for us, you know, we're, we're really excited to have people actually use it. Give us feedback so that we can like rapidly evolve and just make it better. Hmm. I thought that iterative approach that you just described came across really well in the, in the demo, in the keynote, and all of that. What are some of the things that you're most excited about, about this idea of getting into conversational experience in Google Ads? And then maybe, if you're comfortable sharing, what's the rollout plan? Sure, so rollout plan, we're starting testing in July, uh, coming up pretty soon, and then later this year, we'll open it up to a lot more advertisers. Um, you know, what I'm excited about, like first, that more people will be empowered and more confident when creating a search campaign, like, hey, this is a good high quality setup. Like, I, they can focus on their business and their value props and the Google AI can do the, it's like a partner, right? Someone you can talk to just like you might ask a colleague for ideas and advice. You can, that collaborative kind of nature while still being able to review all the outputs, making the tweaks and suggestions, that's what I'm like most excited about. And if you think about it, like we're starting with keywords and ad creation, but there are a lot more use cases out there, both in campaign creation and post campaign construction. So I look at this as a good first step. Um, there are a lot of other things we can explore and, and I'm excited you know, over the coming year and next year as we continue to evolve and uh, with user feedback. So I'm really excited just to get this in people's mm. hands. That pace of learning you're describing is unlike anything that I've ever seen. I, I, I can't wait to see how AI moves the needle in this space. Thanks, I'm really excited. Silvanus, thank you so much for being here with us. Great insight, really interesting and couldn't be more relevant. Thanks for having me. Now, I want to switch gears a bit and talk about privacy and measurement. We have heard quite a bit about instilling confidence in users and also how Google's insights can be a key part of that. This is our moment as an industry to embrace a new era, to rise to increase privacy expectations and to unlock the possibilities of AI. If we get this right, we can build the future of marketing together. We'd love to dive deeper into this, so I want to bring in Kamal Janardin. She is the Senior Director of Product Management Measurement. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Exciting to be here at GML, Laurie and Jason. Yeah. And there are big updates to measurement and privacy. Um, for all the things we heard, if you could have the audience here walk away with two things, what would you share? Two things come to mind. First, as you know, measurement is a core driver of business results, and it helps you understand how to maximize your return investment while building that relationship with your customers. The second is that AI is a key tool built on top of measurement to drive those business results. And our hope is that the future of measurement is a coherent, unified set of solutions across analytics, brand, campaigns, with AI built in. And post-GML, I hope that our customers will deploy the products they heard about today, test and optimize them against their current baselines, and of course, most importantly, give us feedback. Mm. Whether they're a brand marketer evaluating their resonance or a marketer measuring customer insight interactions on their site, in either case, we want to hear what they think. And talk to us about that relationship between measurement and AI. What do they have to do with each other? Across the keynotes, you saw that activating quality data means unlocking more accurate measurement. So if you understand how your customers are engaging with your website or your product, then you can effectively connect with them better, build better product. So examples are Google Tag. It helps you collect quality signals, uh, enhance conversions, allows you to activate the data in a privacy-safe way, and uh, value-based bidding. That is an AI-driven way to truly get the value out of that data. I think there, um, there's so many of these situations where having the measurement in place creates that kind of flywheel. Are there any specific solutions from today in that room right there that stand out for you? Yes, so you heard about them. Uh, the first one I'd say is Product Studio for Retail, uh, the Performance Max Asset Flows, and of course, I have to say, uh, Google Analytics 4 yeah. to help you view your campaign performance comprehensively. And the transition to GA4 is really a great essential step to embracing AI. 
we surface those insights and we leverage them to enable those predictive actions to buy, measure, and plan. And the data works for you. So with good, high-quality data, Google AI can truly become that business multiplier. And Kamal, we've heard a, a bit about Privacy Sandbox from Jerry today. So what is the single most important takeaway for advertisers regarding privacy? I mean, what does this mean for advertisers? Yes, great question. And so Chrome and Android, the goal is to protect user privacy while maintaining the open and accessible internet. That's import, important to all of us. So to this end, you'll actually see the industry coming together to support marketing use cases like measurement and audiences. And in measurement, our team is currently testing the privacy sandbox, integrating it into our solutions. And we're also experimenting with new signals like affinity and in-market audiences, which are yielding really interesting results. Mm -hmm. Our aim with all these efforts, as you heard today, is really to build confidence that privacy and performance are not at odds, and growth will continue even after the deprecation of third-party cookies. It strikes me that so much of the new solutions that you're building are about sort of using this data, but also about more, and that we're making it, you heard today, easier to unlock the value of first-party data on Google and to simplify that, which is something we'd heard a lot. So if we simplify it, is accurate measurement just about ingesting as much data as possible? Yeah, so that is necessary and very important, but it's not sufficient. Um, the fact is people choose brands they trust. And so our ads privacy commitments are really core. They embrace customer choice while enabling marketers to meet those commitments with tools that facilitate it. And an interesting outcome of the current privacy climate is that it has created innovation. Um, the industry isn't just reacting to these constraints and resisting them, it is actually embracing them to innovate. Um, an example of this that you're familiar with, Jason, is around modeling. And that has long been an investment area, but with uh, privacy, we've actually unlocked new scenarios for customers with AI and conversion modeling. And AI and scale are enabling us to scale marketers to move at the speed of their consumers. It's really interesting, Kamal, to hear you talk about this relationship between industry and innovation. So taking a step back, I mean, what does it really mean to build out a responsible data strategy? A, a data strategy is all about transparency and intentionality. So take our homes, for example. I will confess, I have more clutter in my house than I would <laughs> like to admit to. And we all know that sometimes that diminishes the value of what we do have. So a data strategy is really about having a purpose around how data enters, lives, and leaves the system. And so it starts with consent, giving the user autonomy, having streamlined, uh, centralized experiences to create integrity around that consent, and then recognizing that your data solutions must match the type of data that you have. So Retail data is not the same as healthcare data. And to do this at scale, you need flexible, simple solutions. And we've heard your feedback loud and clear, and this is a core investment area that gives you these streamlined import and analytics capabilities that allow you, our customer, to focus on activation and growing your business. Kamal, thank you so much for being here with us today. Such interesting and obviously relevant insights. Appreciate you having me, thank you. I'm really excited for our final guest. Um, she's a newer member of our leadership team and we're just so happy to have her join us. Um, here to talk about Product Studio and provide her vision for commerce is our new VP and GM of commerce, Maria Rents. Hey, come on out. Hey, hi, Lori. Hi, so good to see you. Hi, Jason, great to meet you. Uh, Maria, it is so nice to officially welcome you to the GML Post Show. So many folks have been excited to meet you, and so it's wonderful to actually get to, to see you in real life. So now, I know you recently joined Google. Um, you have, I did a bit of digging, you have an extensive background in technology. Uh, you're in front of folks now. What do you want folks to know about you? Yeah, well, first let me say thank you for having me. I am yeah. so excited to be here. Such great energy here today. I've been in my role now about four months. Uh, so here at Google, I lead shopping and payments. Before joining Google, I was at Amazon for over two decades, building several multi-billion dollar retail categories. And I also spent several years in the startup world at a fintech startup called SoFi. Mm. Uh, fascinating background, and I will say, it's interesting to be here with you because we are at such a pivotal moment in tech, and these themes that we're talking about today could not be more relevant. So. Talk to me about what it was about this moment that made you want to join Google. Sure, I feel really fortunate to be a part of this incredible Google team. I deeply respect Google's mission of supporting the open web and its commitment to users and businesses is inspiring. 
Over the last few years, I found myself relying on Google more than ever for everything from finding cool new brands to using new features like curbside pickup. And as I thought about all the ways Google had made my shopping experience better, and then the possibilities for the future, I knew I had to join the team. Mm -hmm. I genuinely believe Google is leading the way in transforming commerce, and I'm just thrilled to be a part of it. I, uh, I, had, I, I knew your background, uh, but I hadn't heard the story about uh, why and how you came to Google, so I, I appreciate you sharing that. I think you of all people are qualified to talk about how the world of retail is changing. So maybe go deep for us on some ways that you've seen e-commerce change over the years. Sure. I mean, I love that shopping is ever-changing. It keeps us all on our toes. And so over the past two decades, e-commerce has evolved from simply a transactional shopping experience based on finding, buying, and receiving something quickly to today's world where an online search can quickly turn into a shopping spree. People shop on Google over one billion times daily. Just say, say, wait, say that number again. One billion times daily. It's a mind-boggling wow. number. So to help people find what they're looking for, we utilize an AI-powered shopping graph, which contains 35 billion listings and connects consumers with products across all of our platforms. We're also seeing shopping experiences are becoming more immersive, really blurring the distinction between content and commerce. Consumers are increasingly drawn to shopping experiences that are focusing on content such as AR and shoppable videos. Mm. Um, Maria, I have to say, I love fashion and I love technology, so you are speaking my language. I think this <laughs> idea of combining artificial intelligence and, and fashion is fascinating. How is Google making the shopping experience more immersive? Sure. Um, a big part of the team's strategy is making shopping experiences more visual and more immersive. So you'll see more 3D images and AR try-on features in search. And we're seeing a brand new way of search emerge through Google Lens. Today, people use Google Lens for over 12 billion visual searches a month. Lens is really a way that makes the world around us more shoppable. I personally consider it my shopping superpower. <laughs> Besides search, YouTube is where people discover new products from creators they love. So we're working to build out experiences and solutions that make shopping and partnerships on YouTube easy and seamless from finding an item that you love all the way through checkout. And you've talked about connecting users with retailers. How do you see Google driving success for retailers? We're dedicated to help retailers reach more customers and connect new ways with millions anytime, anywhere. We really want Google to be the best place for retailers to connect and scale their business. I want to go back a beat and just something you said a few minutes ago and just say that I am a full-on Google Lens geek. Uh, <laughs> and so thank you for everything that you're building there. Um, I think you've talked a bunch about sort of this, this uh, sort of offline piece with Google Lens and more. Can you talk about how AI is going to impact online shopping? Sure. If you haven't already heard about AI today, <laughs> if you have been listening, just I mean, once or twice. we here believe AI is an incredibly powerful business multiplier. And it's even more powerful when you combine Google AI with your data. So everything from rich product details, deals and promotions, loyalty programs, and more. It will allow you to hone in on personalized consumer experiences and drive up user engagement. The perfect example is Shopping Graph, which does the work of connecting shoppers with billions of product listings and helping us surface the right content for shoppers. Mm. So we are only at the beginning of our generative AI uh, adventure. Um, the team is incredibly excited to put powerful creative tools in the hands of retailers and save them both time and money and help them stand out online. You announced the tool, and we heard a bunch today about Product Studio. Um, yes. Can you talk about more about how that's going to help retailers? Yes, I'm super excited about Product Studio. You saw Brandy demo it on stage. Um, it couldn't have been easier, right? Um, in case you missed the demo, Product Studio is an AI tool that will allow retailers to quickly and easily generate imagery based on their marketing needs. So whether it's a seasonal campaign or simply experimenting, it's going to help save time and money. And the additional benefit is that retailers will be able to use the newly created assets in their own channels as well. Really create cohesive consumer experiences across Google and your own channel. Again, it's the beginning of the story. 
It's um, interesting to me because I know we're just getting into summer, but it is not going to be long until we see the pumpkin spice latte at all the coffee shops, right? <laughs> on the menu. It feels like a holiday of planning is always just around the corner. What would be your advice for retailers who are preparing for what I assume is just the most important time of the year? Yeah, you're right. Pumpkin spice latte <laughs> does kind of unofficially kick off the That's holiday exactly season, right. doesn't it? In fact, I had a, I read a stat recently that 40% of shoppers regret not starting their holiday shopping earlier, believe it or not. So to prepare for this busy period, retailers should take advantage of the power of AI. I would challenge you, make this the summer of Google AI. <laughs> Get in there, play around with Performance Max, um, Product Studio. There's lots of time, now is the perfect time to experiment with these really powerful AI tools and make any necessary adjustments to your campaigns to ensure you're op optimized for the holiday season. Additionally, today we introduced Merchant Center Next, and that's gonna simplify how retailers showcase their products on Google. It's a great opportunity if you're not yet on that platform. Um, I love the idea of using this summer to sort of get ready with some of these new tools. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about some of the ways, one thing they might wanna to do to get ready is to stand out. Can you talk about some ways that retailers can stand out with these tools? Sure, I mean, businesses are always looking at how they can stand out, and the best way to do that is by sharing with customers all the information they need, such as product details, special offers, shipping and return policies are really meaningful to customers, loyalty programs and reviews. You wanna make sure you list all this information in Merchant Center so you can sure it shows up in Google where everyone can see it and together we can drive more clicks. And one other useful piece of advice is that there are a number of great reports in Merchant Center that help retailers decide about price and assortment. For example, retailers can review whether their products are priced competitively, which products appear next to theirs, and even how shoppers engage with their local business on search and maps. And we're constantly updating and putting more data and reports in Merchant Center, so you really want to check it out. Maria, thank you so much. And I want to say, as I said at the top, welcome to Google. We're all so happy that you're here. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'll say before we close, I cannot help but turn the tables on my co-host here. Ready for the hot seat, Jason? Do it. <laughs> um, I did some digging on you too. You've been at Google for 13 years, so you obviously have some great insight. Now, over a decade ago, you were at Google at the forefront of transforming mobile advertising. And I saw something you wrote about that time period. And you wanted to help people communicate the importance of mobile advertising. And you wrote, we started with an empty whiteboard and the goal of telling a story. So here we go again. We are on the cusp of what feels like such an extraordinary moment led by advances in AI. Your message to advertisers a decade ago was go mobile. So now you're here. What is the message to advertisers? What's on the, uh, the empty whiteboard now? Mm. I think the idea that we tried to capture, and I think it's, it's sort of um, a nice uh, bookend, is that that was the first GML that we're talking about 10 years ago. Right. Uh, and that was a similar moment of disruption and so recognizing that we're in a disruptive moment, but not letting that paralyze a, an organization or a brand was at the center of this. And so, um, of course, there's rapid learning, but I think what the idea behind the empty whiteboard was, was to start with that empty whiteboard and fill that up. Fill that up with hypotheses about how your relationship with your consumers changes. Fill that up with sort of theories about which products might help you achieve that. Fill it up with questions about how some of the disruptive technologies might change your marketing and your business. And then leverage everyone around you who has some learnings and experts. And of course, Google wants to help with that. And so I think at the core of the moment in mobile and now at the core of the moment in AI was about recognizing and acknowledging disruption, but embracing all that comes with that. I love this idea of not being paralyzed by disruption and experimentation. So Jason, thank you. It's so wonderful to be able to be here and be your co-host. And thank you to everyone who stayed with us for the Google Marketing Live keynote post show. And with that, we've come to the end of GML 2023, but I will say there's plenty more information waiting for you on the GML site at googlemarketinglive.com. I would say now is the perfect time to head over there and explore the video on demand series, TLDR ads, news, and how to's. Lori, I want to thank you both for making this easy and, and, and fun for me and helping bring this show to life and maybe be the first to invite you back Love for it. next year for GML 2024. You heard it here. <laughs> and and uh, all of you, we'll see you next year at Google Marketing Live 2024.